Good evening class. Today for our video we're going to talk about the five qualitative approaches to inquiry. The first approach is narrative research. Narrative research describes a phenomenon or a method and since we're dealing with college students or underclassmen in a college setting the students could be studied collectively as a generational cohort or as individuals and the varying stories or experiences that brought them to the campus and brought them to where they are today. So again, that would be a narrative research study uh, focused on a method. And since we're studying students, we would be able to collect their stories, identify individual experiences, and see how those relate. There are many different types of data that can be used, which would include biographical data, life histories, background of these students. The process would be to first determine the suitability or design of the study, select one or more participants out of this undergraduate group, consider the shape of the data collection and how it's going to be recorded, collect all the information around the concept, analyze the participants' stories, collaborate with all the participants, and then present your narrative in a written format. The next type is going to be phenomenological, and this describes a common meaning or a lived experience. And this is where experiences are reduced to a specific phenomenon that might relate or overlap with various others. The characteristics are based upon a single concept or idea, and then the groups could be grouped heterogeneously with a surrounding a single common incident, event, concept or idea that unites or brings this group together. For example, students who experience grief at an early age, perhaps a disability, or unfortunately assault, which is common on many college campuses. The third type is the grounded theory. It is a general explanation of a process or an action. So the grounded theory focuses on a process action that has distinct steps or phases that would occur over time. There are two different types of grounded theory. The first is the systematic type, and then the second would be the constructivist type. So you evaluate an event or perhaps a process, like the registration process that most students experience as they are enrolling in class. The next type would be the ethnography, and that focuses on culture sharing groups, which is centered around values, behaviors, beliefs, and or language. On a college or university campus, there could be groups that would surround themselves based upon a college major. I would be able to make the assumption, or it's reasonable to make the assumption, that students who study criminal justice or who are criminal justice majors, they should have a set of moral values that led them to have a desire to study that field. The ethnography actually includes two different types, and that is the realist type and the critical type. The last one is case study, and a case study is a study of a real life in a contemporary setting or in a specific context. In the case study, they identify a specific case with a certain intent that can be intrinsic um, and you actually study one person or one situation in depth. So for example, a case study might be first generation college students and you can study the varying support that they have and how they are successful or unsuccessful based upon other factors so that you can perhaps improve that process. There is a group called Posse in New York who is actually, their whole focus is to take first generation students, they pay their expenses, they help them with books, they set them up with other cohorts, and they have a very high success rate. They have formed the processes based upon case studies of students who had similar backgrounds and similar issues. So that is the presentation. You have a great day.